Okay. So, we discuss about the filter bank analysis. So, output of a filter is nothing but a frequency parameter that is why the filter bank analysis is called frequency domain parameter extraction methods. Now, design of those kind of filters has a little bit of problem means they are not that much of robust because design an ideal filter of pass band 0 to 100 hertz is very difficult you know that in DSP how to design this filter. Okay. So, instead of doing that let us we try to represent other way. So, what is that if you look at the slides I am interested about this envelope only the red line because what you know the speech is nothing but a, this is human vocal tract let us this is H n and there is a excitation E n. So, E n pass through the so got all excitation pass through the vocal tract produce the different speech event. So, I can say this is nothing but a S n speech signal. Okay. So, different speech event who is responsible to produce different speech event H n E n either E n may be excitation is present or excitation is not present. If it is excitation is present then we call voice signal if excitation is not present there is a random noise then we call unvoice signal. So, let us there is a voice signal. So, the excitation is present and that dip excitation is same for all voice signal only difference is the shape of the vocal tract is different and different kind of speech signal is produced. So, our ultimate aim find out the actual representation of H n from the S n. So, I recorded the speech signal S n which is nothing but a convolution of H n convolved with E n. Okay. Now, I want that how do I extract H n eliminate E n I want to eliminate E n. So, if it is a convolution time domain it is a convolution. Now, if I take the frequency transform of this signal. So, this is S k this is H k this is nothing but a multiplication of E k. So, if I take the D f t here discrete Fourier transform or if I represent the speech signal in frequency domain. So, this is nothing but a product of spectral representation of vocal tract with the spectral representation of source excitation source. So, if I say excitation source is nothing but a impulse then I want a speech or signal processing methodology by which I can separate H k from the product of H k into E k. Okay. So, what I can do if you see if it is a product if I take the log log of S k is nothing but a log of H k plus log of E k. So, I can take the absolute log or I can take the simple log also. Okay. So, in log domain the product is nothing but a additive. So, if it is additive then can I separate H k from E k from product of H k and E k uh, from the uh, addition of log H k and E k. So, if you see if this is a log spectra that means, after D f t analysis I take the log this is the log of H k this plot is log of I have taken a signal S n frame signal I take the D f t and after D f t I what is get I get S k 
देन आई टेक द लॉग मैग्नीच्यूड और लॉग ऑफ एस के लॉग ऑफ लॉग मैग्नीच्यूड ऑफ एच के देन इफ आई प्लॉट इट इट विल बी लुक लाइक दिस दिस लॉग फ्रीक्वेंसी एक्सिस इज इन लॉग इफ यू सी आई कैन शो यू इफ यू सी दिस इज अ लीनियर व्यू सो दिस इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी स्केल इज लीनियर सो हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग द लॉग आई फाइंड आउट दैट मॉड ऑफ एस के and i plot that mod of sk with respect to frequency that is spectrum the this axis is the frequency axis and this axis is the mod of xa which is root over of a square plus b square because sk is in complex domain okay so i get this kind of response which is linear now instead of plotting this if i plot the log of this with the frequency then instead of linear view if i take the log view so if i take the log view i get this one now if you see if i if you see that i am interested about this envelope so envelope represent if this slides envelope represent the hn or hk and variation represent the ek so if i want to extract that if i consider this is a signal let's consider this log plot is a signal so there is a signal if i told you that if you if you remember that suppose there is a sine wave there is a signal which is high energy high frequency signal and there is a signal in pure sine wave okay if i take the product of them what i'll get the sine wave impulse will be the high frequency signal so now i want to extract this smooth version of the signal this sine wave so i can see the sine wave is a low frequency component this is nothing but a high frequency component if this is my complex signal so i can say if i pass this complex signal through a low pass filter so low pass output will be the smooth variation of the signal and high pass output will be the high variation of the signal so i can say if i pass this spectrum with a low pass filter this is consider as a signal and pass this through a low pass filter then i can say the output of the low pass filter actually give me the envelope representation so that is my extraction algorithm so since i want to extract only hk so after log if i pass this portion to the a low pass filter then i can eliminate ek that is my target and to find out log of hk this kind of signal processing has an special name this is called homomorphic signal processing so this kind of signal processing has a special name which is called homomorphic signal processing okay so i am not explaining again these slides so i want a methodology by which i can deconvolve the convolved signal so this type of signal processing represent as a homomorphic signal processing now what is lti system lti system lti system matlab matlab linear system so conventional linear system suppose support the superposition principle that means if i apply l is a transform of xn is nothing but a l of x1 n plus x2 n or if i apply every input separately and output can be added up both will be same that is the lti system superposition principle okay so if the signal fall in non overlapping frequency band then they are separable so suppose i have a signal which is nothing but a x1 xn is nothing but a x1 n 
plus x to n addition of two signal okay now if x1 n consists of frequency 0 to pi and x2 n consists of frequency pi to 2 pi then i can easily separate by a linear filter i can easily separate but if x1 is convolved with x2 n then it is very difficult to separate them or some of the x2 is overlap with xn then it is bit difficult to separate so what do you want we want in principle of homomorphic signal processing so importance of homomorphic system is the speech processing lie in their capability of transforming non-linearly combined signal to additively combined signal. So, basic purpose is that transform the non-linearly combined. So, so, I want that convolution signal can be represented by a additive signal. So, what kind of transformation I should do so that convolution become simple addition. So, if you see the slide this figure represented the homomorphic system for convolution. So, x n some kind of transformation d then it represented the instead of convolution I get x 1 n plus x 2 n instead of x 1 n convolved with x 2 n I want a transformation d star which will represent x 1 x. So, the, which may be the x cap n which in the form of x 1 cap n plus x 2 cap n that I want. Then it can pass through the linear filter and I do the deconvolution inverse transform of this d then I get the y. So, linear filter is that suppose I want to extract this one. So, I can extract this one and I can reinverse the inverse filter I can apply inverse transform I can apply I can get the x 1 ok. So, this is the purpose for homomorphic convolution. So, if you see this picture there is a 3 1 2 3 3 part first part system take input combine by convolution and transform them into additive output. Second part system is conventional linear system I can suppose linear filter inverse of first system take the additive input and transform to them convolution output. So, whatever modification I will do in L part linear time invariant so those will be in additive signal ok. So, this is called canonic representation of homomorphic system homomorphic system. If I see this diagram, this diagram for convolution, I can write a diagram for multiplication also. Okay. So, if I want that I want that convolution should be represented in a some form, then the system transfer function should be like this. Let us I take x n Okay, I take x n I want that x n is nothing but a x 1 n convolved with x 2 n. So, at the end I want to find out the x 1 n instead of convolve I want a x cap n which is nothing but a x 1 cap n plus x 2 cap n that is my target and this is my input. So, I apply this input let us take the z transform z domain. So, let us z transform what I will get at output I will get x z. So, x z is nothing but a x 1 z multiply by x 2 z z transform of frequency domain representation or I can say it is a DFT. So, I can get x k 
is nothing but a x1 k into x2 k. Then I take log. If I take the log, what I will get? I will get log of x1 k plus log of x2 k. x1 k and x2 k both are complex. Both are complex. Now, this things, so this, this is in k domain. Now, I apply inverse jet transform or IDFT. So, I get x1 cap n plus x2 cap n, which is nothing but a x cap n. So, I can say this whole system can act as a d star, which is nothing but a homomorphic system for convol deconvolution. So, if you see these slides x n z transform, so convolution become product dot, then dot becomes addition, then addition becomes addition, I take the inverse transform in time domain. So, same things whatever I do here, it is there in the slide x 1 n, then z domain, then I take the log, I get cap, take the inverse transform, then I get the x 1 cap into x 2 cap. This is called septal domain. If you see, it is not exactly x n. I taking this log signal as a time domain signal and take the inverse DFT. So, this is not exactly x n. So, this domain is called septal domain. Septal domain. Now, if you see, it is an additive signal. So, I can say it can be passed through a low pass filter to suppose I want to discard x 2 that can discard x 2 find out x 1. So, that x 1 actually represent. So, it is let us x 1 is equal to nothing but a x 1 n is equal to h n and x 2 n is equal to nothing but a e n then I can say I have removed e n whatever the x cap 1 n is present is represent the envelope of the spectrum. So, x 1 n is the spectrum of that envelope. So, actually x 1 n represent the time varying vocal track. So, that x 1 n those parameters those can be used as a parameter which will actually represent the envelope portion of the spectrum signal, spectral signal. Okay. So, this kind of homomorphic signal processing is used to extract the septal parameters or I will call C C parameter. Okay. I will come. So, this is the computational, computational consideration. So, if I say d star d f t log either complex log or I can take the log magnitude. So, if it is a complex log, then I call complex septum. If it is a log magnitude only, then I call real septum. So, if it is instead of log, I can take only log magnitude. If you see these slides, if I see the only log magnitude, then I can this is the real septum. If I take the complex log, this is called complex septum. Okay. This is called d star inverse because I take the log, I take the ex complex exponential. So, septal analysis, there is a two kinds of septal, one is called real septum, which is represented by a C n, is called real septum, or it can be a complex septum which is x cap n. If I only take the log magnitude part, then it is real septum. If I take the whole signal, this is a complex septum. So, complex septum 1 by 2 pi x cap e to the power j omega 
j omega n which is nothing but a log of x of e to the j omega e to the j omega have you understand or not log of this complex so this complex spectrum consists of phase and magnitude both okay and but real spectrum only the magnitude part phase part is not there okay so in in the end ne next day or one class i will take where i can say relationship between the complex spectrum to a real spectrum that is if xn is real if my signal is real then so if let's the signal is real signal xn is real signal okay so if i say the spectrum log magnitude of the frequency representation of the signal x of omega mod part is nothing is real is a real part and even thus the log of x of omega magnitude part will be also a real and even part of the signal and if you know that x if i take the dft of this or i frequency transform frequency ft of this i can get x omega x omega is a complex things which has a magnitude which is mod of x omega and an angle of x omega a plus jb so mod so if i take the mod part so mod part if it is xn is real this mod part is nothing but a real so if it is real then it is has a even function and if it is then uh, if it is even function if i take the spectrum of the, take the log of this part then whatever cn i will get spectrum i will get this is nothing but a even part of the signal and all the angle of that part this is nothing but a complex part so this is nothing but a odd part of the signal okay so if x cap n is my real spectrum then i can say the real, so in complex spectrum then the real spectrum is nothing but a x cap n plus s cap minus n divided by 2 this proof i'll do in the next class okay so this can be proved real spectrum is nothing but a complex spectrum plus x cap minus n divided by 2 okay now homomorphic filtering once what i said that this has to be passed through a filter to eliminate x to n so if i say this plane in spectral domain so i i said this this signal treated as a time signal and this signal is nothing but a frequency domain of that time signal it is not actually frequency domain or also it, it do not a actually a time domain so i can say it is called q frequency q friends q e u e f r e n c y so low q frequency slowly varying component high q frequency fast varying component so removal of the unwanted component filtering can be attempted in spectral domain itself and that filtering is called liftering instead of filtering we said it is liftering because this is this filtering of this here this is not a time domain signal then this filtering called liftering okay then you can discuss the homomorphic filtering so if log x omega then i can pass through a so in view of the time signal i can low pass fill pass the low pass filter and i can find out the slowly varying component so i can say i am not going details of that the filtering technique of here so what are the step to find out the spectral coefficient so basic processing step of for frequency parameters i get a xn is the signal then what i will do in the speech signal i do the pre preemphasis to emphasize the high frequency component why it is required if you see in the speech signal low frequency are emphasized but high frequency are not that emphasized so what i will do first step i'll get a speech signal let's sn i do the pre emphasis so it is nothing but a or i can say if it is sn so yn is nothing but a 
here I have Sn is equal to Xn I have made then I can say it is nothing but a 1 minus A into uh, Xn Xn minus A into X of N minus 1. So, that is given and A value may be or alpha alpha value may be 0 0.5, 0 0.96, 0 0.5 to 0 0.96, 0 0.95 to 0.96 to 0.97 those are the variation. Okay. Then what I will do? I do the framing. What kind of framing? I have a speech signal. I extract, I put the window length, one window, red color to red color, one window. Then I shifted the window. If it is 50 percent shifted, uh, if it is 20 millisecond and 10 millisecond shifting, then 50 percent overlap. So, for each, each window, for each frame, I can get frame 1, frame 2, frame 3. And this each frame after windowing pass through a window. So, what I am doing, I just framing the signal, I am not doing the windowing there. Then after I cut the red to red, I multiply W n. After I cut green to green, I multiply with W n, which is window signal. Then what I will do? Windowing, hemming, hanging, cosine or rectangular, if I not multiplying anything, that means I multiplying with 1, which is nothing but a rectangular window. Then I do the DFT. So, the up to this process is convert S n to S k. That conversion has to be done. Okay. Then what we will do for power spectrum or spectrum analysis, this S k will be go to the log, then I do the I D F T. If I do that, then output is called complex septum. Septum. If I want the real septum, then what I will do? Instead of x k, I do another block here, which is nothing but a mod of s k. Then take the log. So, if I mod of s k is omitted, complex septum. If I take the law mod, then it is called real septum. Then beginning, so then it can be passed through a low pass filter. That means beginning portion is a slowly varying component. So, those are called septum coefficient or septral transfer coefficient C C or septral coefficient. We can say the septral coefficient. So, if I extract the so, whatever I get here, so after IDFT, let us I take the n, n length IDFT. So, k will vary from 0 to n minus 1. So, beginning component, all the beginning component will represent the slowly varying component. So, I can say let us C0 to I can say C13, let us n is equal to something else, C13 or C20, those actually represent the envelope, those are called septram or C C, septral coefficient, C C, septral coefficient. Okay. So, basically this is done n by 2, because k equal to n minus 1 is not required, because DFT analysis is a symmetry property. This is f s by 2, you know that this is nothing but a n by 2. So, I can say k equal to 0 to n by 2 is sufficient. So, I can say take 0 to something some length I can take which represent the envelope, septal coefficient. Okay. So, this is the extraction of the septal coefficient. So, what we have done? We are consider the spectrum has to be passed through a homomorphic signal processing or what one kind of homomorphic signal processing we, is, we have done by which we can extract the envelope of the spectrum, which is called septrum. Okay? Thank you. So, next class we will discuss about the MFCC. Okay? Thank you.